Freshdesk tutorial, how to use Freshdesk as a beginner. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Freshdesk, which is a customer support or customer service providing software. So let's get into it now. I'm just going to click on free trial at the top right over here. And then you can just click on sign up with email or you can sign up with your Google account as well. Now I'm just going to sign up with my Google account. So now once you have signed up for Freshdesk, they are going to ask you for the Freshdesk account that you want to create or the name that you want. So I just want this to be Jane Doe. And I'm just going to click on next. After that, you're going to get started with your Freshdesk dashboard. So Freshdesk is a platform which allows you to create different tools for your customer service integration. So let's say if you're running an e-commerce store, then you can manage all of that stuff from here. And you can reply to customers, interact with customers from the direct Freshdesk platform. Now you can invite your team members over here. And I'm just going to skip this for now. And I'm going to skip all of this for now. And I'll just show you guys the actual Freshdesk platform. Now you you can see on your left you have your navigation panel and then on the top right you have your a uh, new board creator you have your new ticketing system you have your fresh desk integrations and then you have your account as well now right now fresh desk has loaded me a sample dashboard but i'm just going to click on dismiss over here to dismiss for me to begin entering my real data now you can see that on my left i have my basic dashboard so in your dashboard you can add and see different things so you can click on new over here and you can create like new entries onto your dashboard you have your to-do list you have your unsolved tickets you have customer satisfaction forms all kind of groups the overall ticketing that you have and your resolved and overall response timings, your received timings, the average response time, and the resolution within the SLA. Now below that on your left you have your tickets. So tickets are basically the inquiries that have been added. You can see that these are the inquiries that I created previously. So you can see this is a payment fail, this is a received or broken TV, this is a email address change and you can see that you can add uh, or assign different agents so if someone emails you that uh, they received a broken tv and you have a specific teammate that deals with that kind of stuff so you can click on filters and then you can assign them to a certain person so they can start begin the customer service journey from there now below that you have different groups as well so you can say that if someone has an issue regarding payments or billing, you can add that to the payments and billing section. And then if you have someone that has a larger issue and the issue is escalating, you can add that to escalations and then you can deal with those tickets over there. Now below that, you have your contacts. So in contacts, you have direct customer contacts and then you have companies. So in your contacts, you're just going to open up your contacts. And if you have a CSV file of your emails, you can add those. If you don't, you can just click and add the uh, import these manually so you can click on import over here and add your csv file if you can't do that then you can just add them manually one by one so you can click on new email and then you can add a new email contact over here now below that you have companies as well so if you're interacting with different companies you can add them over here and you can see that within your company there can be several different specific contacts or tickets so your company uh, communications will be separated from your direct customer communications as well now below that you have your solution so you can create different specific solutions for a specific uh, faq if you want to find something that you can't find in, in the overall ticketing system if you're confused about something you can find it in the solution section over here so this is basically for you to get started and uh, just to find any kind of new stuff so you can just click on new article and then you can have like a new sample guide so if there is something like there's a question that is frequently asked to you about the overall business that you have have. maybe people always ask you about the last sign-up process of your website then you can create a simple FAQ and add that to your website using Freshdesk as well now below that you have your reports and analytics section so if you click on reports over here you're gonna find different reports on the overall ticketing system that you have you have your ticket volume trends you can have your agent performance so you can monitor productivity you can monitor customer satisfaction and you have a general analysis of your account as well this is great 
great for someone that is in a management position. So if you're a manager, if you're taking control of several different people um, below you, and then you can see how each person is performing and you can also add timestamps. So if you're paying your employees by the hour, then you can easily have a timesheet summary and see who is online when and when are they working. So you can easily see how often someone is working and what is the overall performance of that person in your team. And then you can even monitor group performance if you have created certain groups. So if the, the billing group is doing better than the overall escalations group, then you can give them certain incentives to bonus their uh, productivity as well. Now below that you have your general administrator settings. So this is just for your uh, teams, your workflows, channels, your agent productivity, all of that good stuff you can find over here. Now you can create different teams to separate your work business stuff as well. So you can be one team could be for one of your businesses and the other could be for the other one of your businesses. That is totally up to you as well. Now if you click on workflow over here, you can add different automations to your overall work ticketing system so if you click on automations over here let's say we want to have time triggers so maybe you want to when a ticket has been overdue for a long time assign it to the escalations team or maybe if you want to edit this so when a ticket has been let's say if the due date of the ticket is greater than four then assign to the and set the priority as urgent and add a new section and then i'm going to add and assign to agent me and then i can just preview and save and now whenever a ticket has been open for more than four days it's going to be assigned as urgent and it's going to be assigned to me and you can automate your ticketing system like this as well to increase productivity and to have a better sense of how the customers are being treated. So you can easily find that if someone is slacking off or certain customers are uh, unsatisfied, you can make sure that everything is resolved timely and quickly. Now, if you click on your tickets over here, you're going to find all of your tickets and you can sort them by different filters as well. You can also change out the card view of your ticket. So if you want a card view or a simple view, View, then you can add that as well if i click on new and i click on new ticket i can just create a sample ticket for me to work with so i can just sample out how the ticketing system works and how i can actually reply and create different tickets now currently i'm running the 21 day free trial of uh, fresh desk they also have a premium version so let's take a look at the different plannings so if we take a look at the different plans provided by Freshdesk, you can see that they have a free plan which has the email and social ticketing. So you can do your ticketing system for your social media platforms. You have your ticket dispatch knowledge base, your trend reports, your data center location, and team collaboration. While they have the growth version at $15 where they have the collision detection automation. So you can't automate any of your tickets on the free version while you can do it on the growth version. And then you have custom fields and timesheet summary reports and time price as well on the growth version so if you're running any kind of business and you want to monitor the productivity of your team members and monitor timestamps especially then you should definitely opt for the growth version for $15 per month per agent and then you have the pro version which starts at $49 per agent per month where you also can include up to 5,000 collaborators and you can add multiple products you have different customer segments you can see what kind of customers are buying more frequently and focus your uh, time management Management responses over there and then you have the enterprise version which is starting at $79 per agent per month with detailed workflows assistant bots social signals a article to gesture emailing bots agent shifts and general audit logs and skill based routing as well so that was it for today I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to use Freshworks to start managing your ticketing system and your customer support services I hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video